It is the 20th day of the partial government shutdown, and many people across the U.S. are feeling the effects. KDLT's Miranda Page checks in with some of South Dakota's farmers to see how the shutdown is impacting them. This is not the first government shutdown former South Dakota Ag Secretary and fourth generation farmer Walt Bones has been through. He says it can and is causing some uncertainty. We just got the farm bill passed and the president signed it. Uh, the folks that implement those programs are not working. But he is staying positive. To be a farmer, you've got to be an eternal optimist. Fortunately, this time of year is slower for farmers, so he says most growers aren't directly affected. But farmers who rely on low interest loans are being impacted right now, as the U.S. Department of Agriculture Farm Service Agency, or FSA, is closed. It could also affect farmers who have yet to apply for the Government Market Facilitation Program that was created to help farmers hurt by retaliatory tariffs. The deadline to apply is January 15th, but will be extended due to the shutdown. However, However, that means those farmers will have to wait for those funds. Emory farmer Scott Stahl hopes the government comes to an agreement soon. We certainly want to see this shutdown resolved so that you know things can go smoothly and transition to E15 year-round across the United States. Stahl believes the longer the shutdown goes on, the more nervous farmers will get. What we don't want to see is the shutdown extending um, closer to planning, getting into that March time frame. Uh, that's when crop insurance discovery is. Bones agrees. You're making huge decisions. You know, when it comes time to put a crop in the ground, you know, that's a lot of dollars. And so are we going to do corn? Are we going to do soybeans? Well, it might depend on, you know, what the you know what the safety net programs are. For now, farmers are just hoping the shutdown ends soon. Miranda Page, KDLT News. Well, the shutdown could end if the president goes in another direction. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham says it is time for President Trump to invoke emergency powers to build that border wall without congressional approval.